Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to cover the pressure power Dallas Chalmers, the 212cc, and how I built it. A lot of you guys really wanted to know that, so I'll go through it. Disclaimer, I'll show you how I did this, but I'm getting ready to change it, but I'll explain why. So hopefully the wind ain't too bad, it's blowing out here. So broke my audio cable. <laughs> I've been on a roll lately. But anyways, this is how this is set up. This is pretty well just like the F20. We've got a idler pulley here, and this is a two inch pulley on top. This is an eight inch pulley on bottom. B belt running five eighths. And I just got this set up super simple hand clutch. When I pull it back, you see it take tension off the belt and it pulls down so and it ain't quite tight enough i've got to redo my spring a little bit but what i did i've got an inch and a half pipe down here it's kind of a mess up in there but i've got an inch and a half pipe and i originally had it on a two inch pipe and it didn't work out right and i had to cut it hopefully you can see that down in there let's see if i can get the camera down in there but it's right there and uh, it slid perfectly in there and I balanced it and stuck it in there in the center of that two inch pipe is the clutch hub that was originally in this factory and what I did I turned it down on the lathe and got it all aligned and that pretty well balanced and got everything set up but what I did do that I didn't like I used what I had I was out of stuff a little bit short on my shaft and I've only got one up here, which I did with the Predator powered F20. And that actually worked out pretty good, but there's a difference. The, the old international stuff has a, it's almost like a U-joint. It's got a double setup with steel plates and they're on a square and they're offset of each other and there's rubbers in between and it allows it to flex. This does not, it's solid. And if you can see, See how that's wobbling? I've got to fix this because it's not working very good. I thought I'd get away with that, but after running a while, I can't. So I have ordered the pillow block bearing to go around this, the inch and a half pipe, which is inch and seven eighths, and it's only going to be like 10 thousandths. If everything comes out right like it's supposed to be, it's only going to be 10 thousandths smaller, so I can make it work just fine to go on the outside of this inch and a half pipe which when you go into your mics you know it's one point uh oh what i figure uh, give me a minute one two five eight seven five one point eight seven five is an inch and seven eighths which is what the pillow block is and this come out to one one point uh nine hundred or something like that it was real close but See all that play? We have got to fix that. And I'm going to put that pillow block over this pipe, center everything up again, weld me a plate, and balance this to where it won't wiggle. And then I'm going to move the front pillow block up on the shaft. And that will keep everything super tight, super rigid, and just balance it real good. And this thing is working awesome. Uh, you know, it kind of started as a joke, but it's turned out to be pretty useful. I mean, just stuff like this. I'm back to 16 foot full size trailer up here, tandem axle, you know, just a standard pull behind trailer, but we're moving stuff around and I, I scrap on the side. We're tearing stuff down and everything, cleaning the shop, getting ready to haul a bunch of junk lawn mowers I've robbed and there's appliances to get the motors out of and stuff like that. But you know, moving trailers around and everything else. I mean, this is handy for a lot of stuff and we're going to use this as well. I do have the brush hog video coming up. I've got a surprise. I found a perfect candidate. We got to clean the garden up. I had some stuff going this year and I didn't get to maintain it the way I want to and screw up. But it's tall grass, solid tall grass, and we can play with it. But I kind of want to get this fixed before we do that, or I ruin anything, because I'm really liking this little tractor. It's handy. So that's kind of what I did here. Like I said, we just kind of run the one inch shaft through it and side this inch and a half pipe and i cut the two inch off i started with and put this in it and welded it and i got the center in so with that being said let's take a little trip in the shop here i wanted to show how i did this i found a really neat trick for doing this stuff for aligning the stuff up so 
Let's go in here a minute. Hold on, let's get some light. I don't mind the mess. Like I said, been scrapping. Pays the bills. Partially pays the bills. We got other endeavors too, but. <laughs> All right, I have found these right here. These one inch shaft couplers that lock up tight. Uh, are you kidding me? Oh, it's over here. These are awesome. They're about probably a half inch thick. Uh, there it is, folks. Inch and a half pipe. In case anyone else wants to do this, I turned the center of the clutch hub down on this on the lathe. But these fit absolutely perfect right there. Look at that. And they're super thick and they're wide. So they ain't like a washer. They can't, you know, teeter totter side to side. And they fit in there like a glove. And you can buy these in two packs for eight bucks at Tractor Supply. And they go in an inch and a half pipe. Just beautiful. So I'm learning. This is way different than that F20. That F20 was a breeze. So don't be too hard on me. We're learning together. And as I figure this out, this is the very first one like this. And there's going to be more. So as I'm going, I'm figuring out better ways to do this. And I'm going to tell you as I learn. So we're just kind of doing this together. But anyway, that's how I did that one. But don't do that because I'm getting ready to change that. I'll show you the new and improved version when I get the parts in. We're going to redo that because I don't want to water that out and ruin that shaft and everything because that thing is working great for so much little stuff. And I'm working on a deal right now because I'm going to plant some corn on this place because feed's getting out of sight. I want to do that later. Hopefully everything will be ready to go in this year. Next year, get full around this place. I'll get into that. When that time comes, we're going to make a special video about that. But I've got an Alice Chalmers one bottom plow model 116 found. I'm working on it right now. I hope I can get it. It's made just for these B's and C's. We're going to break some ground with it. So uh, if you see the two bottom on the F20 in the other video, it's... It's really busted in the back, and I can't get the pitch right the way I want it. It's got a movable tail end on it, but anyway. Hopefully I can get the plow for this, because we're going to do a lot of stuff. So, enough rambling on this video, but like I said, all that stuff, that's how I did that. But I'm getting ready to change that, so don't do it that way. And I'll, that's still going to be the basic guideline, but we're going to do the pillow blocks and stuff differently. And I guess that's it for this video. I hope that kind of covered everything everybody wanted to know. So, anyways... Um, as I get better and we get the, the final version, I'll really show you again and then really make a good video about that. But anyway, that's it for today. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It does help the channel. Subscribe if you haven't already. It's free. It don't cost nothing. Hit that bell when you do. You get notified of all the upcoming builds and videos and all the farm stuff we're getting ready to do. So I guess that's it for this video. So as always, like and subscribe. I'll catch you on the next video. Bye.